cup of tea and history. On a December night in 1773, about 150 colonists, most of them known as the Sons of Liberty, boarded three British cargo ships. As a crowd watched from shore, they dumped hundreds of chests of English tea into the Boston Harbor. There's a lot of guys in Boston going, here's your tea, right here! This made the tea unsuitable for drinking, even for Americans. That intrepid lad is bossing that tea without a care for what the caffeine would do to the Fenway flounder. Is that a fish? It was. John Adams, still a critic of mob actions, was not among the Mohawks dumping tea in the harbor that night. Nevertheless, he firmly applauded the protest. There is a dignity, a majesty, a sublimity in this last effort of the patriots that I greatly admire. This destruction of the tea is so bold, so daring, so firm, so intrepid and inflexible. And it must have so important consequences and so lasting that I cannot but consider it as an epoch in history. Yeah, but weren't we terrorists at the Boston Tea Party? Nobody got hurt at the Boston Tea Party. The only people got hurt are some fancy boys who didn't have anything to wash down their trumpets with. For the British, the Tea Party was their breaking point. We cannot tolerate such flaunting of His Christ Majesty's and ordinance. Clear Boston Harbor! Yeah, 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 yeah